Hello, Bonus Army. Welcome back to Minecraft Dalek like Mod Survival. Here with your host, the Veteran Pendragon. Glad to see you back, guys. Sorry for the absence of video yesterday. I've been having, um, I've been just hanging out with the family and stuff. I didn't really have time to record. Sorry about that, but let's look on the bright side. Hey, you're getting a video now. So anyway, guys, um, I've had a sort of idea for a new build. Uh, an experimental build, if you will, that you guys will probably know because I probably put it in the title, so that sort of defeats the point. But anyway, um, so, uh, going back to the build in question, some of you guys have, uh, even though I meant it as a joke, after I've been, of course, this is the Dalek mod, we have all stuff Doctor Who, so of course we've been doing some time traveling, I had a joke that I would start a block collection, <laughs> um, of blocks of different time eras in Minecraft, so, yeah, I had a bit of fun with that, but some of you guys recommended it, so I'm like, hey, what if I make this a thing? And someone else, uh, I believe uh, their, their Google Plus username is hi there, uh, recommended I construct a little shack for the TARDIS because we don't want her getting wet, and that, I, 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 I have to agree with that. I, I don't want our TARDIS uh, suffering out here in the cold. And then, and then, I was spending some time with my uh, family, because, you know, summer, uh, I'm off and all that. I, and we went to visit the Medi the Cloisters Museum of Medieval Art, and I thought it was really cool. Hey, what if we make a block museum, have all sorts of, um, have like a cool spot where we could view all of the blocks from distant eras, and it'll be a nice little place for the tar to sit, to sit down in, and I thought that would be pretty cool. Henceforth, I got lots of quartz from the nether, and I figure that since I like to mix it up, use all sorts of different blocks, if I run out of quartz, I want to use a different sort of block, I could use snow as a substitute. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to get a little uh, nice infinite uh, snow source. My idea, I'm going to like make a cool little uh, block museum out of these quartz blocks. You know, it's always good for sort of designing like opulent uh, builds, as to say like museums, uh, modern houses, stuff like that. Well, oh, by the way, modern houses. I am thinking of doing something like that, by the way. But anyway, let's get our snow source up. Yay, we got our little snow golem here. And let's just dig this all up. There we go. So anyway, I thought it would be pretty cool for me to do a build like this, you know, just make a nice block museum for the TARDIS to be in. Just be a cool place to be. All right. So uh, I'll be right back once I've gathered some more snow. Okay, guys, I've gathered up a good enough snow. Uh, good mouse. No, yep. Shovel just broke. Alright, let's dig our way out of here. There we go. So anyway, as I was mentioning, my idea for a block museum, it's gonna be like one of those, uh, it's gonna be sort of like the Parthenon, you know, like that Greek temple sort of stuff. You got your, uh, you got your, like, pillars coming out, you got your cool, like, marble floor sort of thing. We'll use, uh, either we'll use glass or we'll make it open air. If anything, I think it'll be a pretty cool build. I honestly, uh, someone's probably done it at this point, but I honestly haven't heard about it. Oh, there he goes. It's like semi-griefing there. Stop. Anyway, um, yeah, so I figure we'll get started. Okay, uh, unlike, uh, the armory, I haven't really quite decided where I want to build this. You know what? Um, you know what? I think it would be cool if we built it, like, just on the side here. I think that'd be cool. All right, guys, I'll clear an area, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, I am aware it's raining a little bit, but don't worry, our TARDIS... Uh, isn't, uh, suffering from the rain. We've got her under that little canopy over the dock over there. And after that, the Block Museum will be her official residence, so we can rest tight. Anyway, guys, I've cleared out a little space over here for the Block Museum. It's gonna be sort of like a weird blocky semicircle, is what I'm envisioning. Uh, let me just get these pillar quartz blocks out. Let me... Ah, oh, come on! Snowman just... The snow golem just, like, went all over this. Alright, let's fill this back in. So, let's see how this looks. Okay, so we're going to want to get our pillars up. And over, okay, let's see. One, two, two blocks in. So, okay. This is sort of what I'm, um, this is sort of what I'm envisioning. It's going to be sort of like open air, uh, gonna be like so open, sort of open air for the entrance like there isn't gonna be doors you just sort of walk straight in and then there's gonna be walls over here maybe like a sort of glass display case over here like uh, an exhibit for like a row of blocks like maybe some uh, cave game dirt or a cave game uh, cobble and I think that will come out pretty cool all right so 
These are around the same height. So now, I guess, we start on the floor. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I am going to have a mix of blocks because, you know, quartz and snow all by itself will be pretty boring. So what I think, I think that this will be a bit nice if we can get some stone or stone brick slab or maybe even have them vary a bit. I think that would be cool. All right, so let's get our stone brick. Where are you, stone brick? All right, uh, we'll make a few slabs and we could alternate it with uh, some oak wood. I think that would be pretty nice. All right, so let's get all of our uh, oak wood slabs, all of our stone brick slabs, and we'll, let's get this started. All right, one, two, there we go. So what I'm envisioning, it's going to sort of be like, you know, your typical uh, temple sort of build, except with like uh, a different sort of touch. So of course we're going to have your typical uh, marble roof, but for the border, like when you step inside, it's going to be alternating stone brick and oak. And then in the middle, you have your typical marble floor. So let's try this out. I sort of like the way this looks. There's like... I don't know why, I just sort of, I feel that there's a sort of appeal to me in Minecraft on simplistic designs. I know that that sounds pretty bad, but I just sort of like the idea of, you know, like quaint little designs. I've never been one for like the really epic and big. I've never really been that sort of builder. I, 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 there's just a certain appeal of it for me. All right. Yeah, I like the way that's going. All right, let's continue. Let's, brick. Oh, good. Brick. Oh, you gotta, gotta get into that rhythm. That rhythm of building. We have to inject our spirit into this building, or else it's not going to be a true Minecraft build. You gotta put your heart, you gotta put your soul into it, you gotta put, put your blood, and get a carnal sacrifice, bring the gods. Uh, um, never mind, guys, I am not a cultist. Alright, so let's uh, keep. Is that how we had it? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, if, if anything, if I get a bit bored of the design, I will. Um, I will. Uh, put some uh, different elements into it, but for now, I think this is, th this is good enough for us. Let's get our stone brick, oak wood, oh, what do you know? Ooh, lightning. Creepy. Anyway, guys, so we have our nice little pattern laid out here, and as for the walls, I'll probably have it being marble, or maybe even a, I'll probably do a bit of brick, because I, I, I'm not too crazy about quartz heavy builds. So, it's going to be sort of open air, get our walls alongside this border, and, hmm, okay. You know what, guys, I'll play around with a few designs, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, I just slept through the night because it was thundering like mad. I didn't want to, I didn't want that to disrupt the recording. So, uh, I've got uh, some new blocks with me here. I have this uh, chiseled quartz, and I think it would go good with nether brick, and maybe... Uh, just maybe some birch wood plank, so I think it'll be kind of fun to play around with this and see where it gets us. Ooh, actually, the walls could be birch and quartz. That, I think we're getting something here. Alright, so let's just play around with this a bit. So we're going to have the chiseled quartz around here. Hmm, what if we take the... Okay, you know what? I think that will be fine as sort of the entrance... And for, and then after that, we can sort of make it checkered with some, some, uh, ooh, snow. I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, so let's, ooh, I'm liking the way that looks. Okay, so I think we can use that, um, mosaic or, uh, chiseled quartz or whatever you call it for the gateway. And then after that, we get a checkerboard design with snow going. I think that will look pretty cool. All right, let's just lay down all of our... You know what? I think it would be fine if we made all of this chiseled quartz, and then the rest of this, we're going to get that, uh, checkerboard pattern that I love and get our, um, chiseled quartz in there. I think that'll look pretty neat. All right, well, let's get some more birch wood. And we should have enough. This isn't a particularly big build, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm not crazy about big builds. I like, you know, little small down-to-earth stuff. And I think both are appreciable. All right, so let's just fill that in. Ooh, I'm liking this bright contrast. It looks pretty nice. All right, fill the rest in. And there you have it. Look at that. 
We are cooking with gas. <laughs> okay, so how will we want to approach the rest of this build? Let me just make all the rest of that birch wood into planks, and let's see where this gets us. So we could do sort of like birch. We do like a... Hmm. Well, I, li I like the way that... I, I always like using, like, brighter colors in Minecraft. I don't know. Okay, that sort of contradicts with all of my nether brick building, but that it's because I had a lot of it. Um, hmm, I think I sort of have an idea of where I'm going to go with this. Oh, damn, I don't have an axe. Okay, so my idea is I put uh, stone brick, like, two r rows of stone brick, and then... Uh, and then like one okay you know what let me just demonstrate it because it's a bit easier to show in practice let's just get our stone bricks and pillar up uh get a second row of stone brick pillar up and then it'll be birch birch wood planks and then stone brick wood plank and then we'll go all the way around the semicircle so That'll be the walls, and I'll be right back after I finish building that. Okay, guys, we are pretty much done with the walls. I sort of replaced the mosaic quartz I was using up here earlier, just because I didn't really like the way it fit in. I, I, I didn't like the way it looked, and I figured it would be better if we kept the checkered wood pattern throughout. So we pretty much finished these walls, uh, but I had the idea that maybe uh, it could be sort of like, there could be like a small waterfall here and some hedges around. I think that would look pretty good. And on the sides, we can have like a different block just like standing suspending there maybe a glass case here and there with like little signs talking about where they're from so i thought that would be pretty cool so i'm going to have a waterfall over here but for a waterfall we need water buckets and i already have plenty of those especially over here at our automated farm so i've always been dying to show this on screen because i think it looks pretty cool so look at that uh i love a well executed plan Anyway, um, look at that, going straight into the hoppers, going straight to where we want it. Come on. Wait, wait, where was all the wheat going? Oh, okay, I guess the seeds go first and then the wheat goes. Alright, that's fine. Fine with us. Anyway, we need our water buckets, so let's just, uh, turn those dispenser, those dispensers off. There we go. Let's borrow two water buckets real quick. One two and let's set up our mini waterfall which i think is going to be a nice little addition to the piece so we're going to instead we're going to have one space behind here going oh actually might be cooler if we did quartz blocks all right i'll cover it up at the back so i'll cover it up at the back later so we're going to have some nice quartz blocks going up uh, I think that's about where we want it. Alright, so, actually, to make a proper waterfall, we might... Wait, wait, let's see how the water flows first. Um, I, I haven't really played much around with water in building, so I'm not completely sure how this is supposed to go. So, if we do water over... Okay, that looks quite nice, but I think we need to take it back a block. Sorry guys, this is a bit of, this is sort of a bit of incoherent nonsense for you guys, but it's helping me build. It's helping me build. Okay, so we get our quartz. One, two, three. And then we will have our water. Oh, nice little waterfall. We're just gonna want to move that up. Just want to move that up a block. And then we can simply take our two water buckets and make a nice little waterfall. There we go. I think that looks quite nice, and it's a nice little addition. So let's just bridge that gap back there. And hey, we have a nice little waterfall coming out for our block museum. It'd be pretty nice to accompany the little uh, block displays here and there. Okay, guys, uh, I think we should get started on the roof. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to raise the roof. You know what I mean. All right, guys, let's get started on the roof. For this, uh, after the slab incident where it looked 
very nice on the inside and sort of eh on the outside, I decided to try using some stairs as the roof. I know this is sort of the common thing for most people, but this is going to be a new experience for me because I'm not really used to using stairs um, in Minecraft as roof stuff. So anyway, I think we need to get all of our flat tiles down. So we're going to have like alternating quartz and nether brick. And I think that will look just, that will look pretty nice. All right, so we just got to set up, uh, we're, we're going to cut this all down. Uh, but I'm just setting up like uh, all of these blocks here. So we all, so we have something to put down all of our stairs on. Um, yeah, this is why I don't like stairs building. It's very the thing is it looks nicer, but it's like uh it's it's just a pain. It's just a pain in the buttocks. See? No cursing guys, family friendly. Uh, <laughs> it's just a bit of a pain to set up. Okay. So going to want to get that and um There we go. Okay, I might actually have part of this as the... Okay, let's let's just experiment with this a little bit and see where it gets us. Alright, so it's a bit, it's open air, which is one thing, so... Hmm, how should I set up this roof? I could go like... <laughs> this is hard. This is hard, I have to say. Uh, like... No, no, that doesn't work. Go like that. Ooh, now we're now we're now we're cooking with gas. Um, why? <laughs> why do I keep using that phrase? All right. So now what we're gonna want to do is it's a bit tricky because I'm working with a very weird. I don't know what I was thinking when I made the edge look like this. So I'm going to have my stairs go like that. And then, oh, that curves in rather nicely. All right, I can get used to this. Hmm, how do, oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm starting to get my formatting right. So we, all right, so we put our stair there. Wait, 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 how am I doing over here? So I have a sort of, uh, let's see, go there. So it, I have it sort of an M shape over here. So that. You know what, I think the world will forgive us if we're not completely consistent on this building. If anything, I could edit the roof later. Alright, so I finally have this roof thing. Sort of got, it, it was a bit tricky to engineer uh, the way I want the roof to look, but I think it looks okay. I know it's not so consistent, but hey, this is Minecraft. It's creativity. Who needs consistently? Con con consistency. Anyway, guys, um, I, I did see a sort of architectural glitch here, um, if you will. Uh, it sort of seems like the way I've structured the roof, it doesn't look like the pillars are supporting anything. So I think I'll just uh, slap a quartz slab over those, and it should look fine. Anyway, um, the way the roof is going to go, uh, I'm not going to make it stairs all the way, just because I think that would look a bit weird. Um, so I'm going to have another set of stairs here, uh, stone bricks uh, stairs to be exact, and then I'll fill in the gaps with birch, and maybe even have a bit of a sky roof. And I think that will suit our interest just nicely. So let's just get that up. It's a bit tri this roof is very tricky because you, it's like a very weird zigzaggy pattern that I didn't really plan out the best. But hey, cre uh, Minecraft's all about creativity, and I think that is what we are getting at here. There we go, just like magic. And huzzah, the problem is solved. Look at that. I sort of like the way this roof came out. And we get our birch in the middle, and mm, it's going to be looking pretty fine. Okay, so now we have the birch filling. We can fill in some glass, and voila, instant sky roof. What can I say? I also put the, uh, point, point. Uh, I also put the quartz slabs over here to uh, make the roof look just a bit better. But as you guys are noticing, it is quite dark in here. Something that we are happy to, um do away with and it seems that I forgot my Dalekanium pickaxe broke so we're gonna have to do this with our diamond pick. Let's just stick our redstone lamps over there you know what over there and over there. Get our sonic. Woo! I love using this thing. And there we go our block museum is well it doesn't have any of the blocks we want in it but um 
Other than that, it's ready. Enjoy your new home, TARDIS. <laughs> or Idris. Or sexy, I don't know, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a pretty... This is a pretty sweet build. I really like the way this came out. Hmm. Yeah, so eventually... Uh, I sh either we'll get our exhibits in, you know, uh, our, your, you got your cave game cobble, you got your cave game dirt and that stuff, or we could just leave it as is. I, I really like this build. <laughs> I think it came out pretty well. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and, you know, all other stuff involved and the video. Yeah. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. Uh, also, make sure to sub, uh, subscribe that is, uh, to join the bonus army, my group of subscribers. Again, updates whenever I upload new content. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Veteran Pendragon, signing out. See you guys.